Horses, sir. Go see. Riders coming in, sir. God, sir, we are damn glad to see you. Have you seen Custer? We've had no word from him since Sunday afternoon when he left us and rode off with five companies. I believe Custer's command has been defeated. Oh, that's hard to believe. I think Custer's somewhere down the big horn grazing his horses. You are wrong, Captain Benteen. Where might he have fallen, sir? Permission to go, sir. Go. What happened to your Captain Benteen? Mistakes were made. They look. There he is. Damn him. Uh, he will never fight anymore.
I always called him by his baby name, Audie. He was the first child of a second marriage, six years older than his brother, Tom. Audie! We must hurry! None of his brothers could pronounce Armstrong when they were boys, so they called him Audie. Audie, I'm going ahead without you. They will wait for me. <sighs> a handful of men on a dried patch of grass. They can wait. My name is Elizabeth Custer. You need a new uniform. I thought the 7th Cavalry would be receiving them by now. The world does not know that the 7th Cavalry even exists. Uniforms would be too much to hope for. My husband was a great hero of the Civil War. He was at least surrender at Appomattox. He was daring and dashing. The youngest brevet major general in the history of the Army at age 23. He captured the imagination of the whole country. The 7th Cavalry had been organized in the years following the rebellion. Homesteaders, the miners, and the Kansas Pacific Railroad all were moving America west. The regiment was formed to protect them from the Indians. Arrangements had been made with the tribes by this time, but the feeling on the frontier was that no Indian had any rights that a white man was obligated to respect. The general was not pleased at the time with his assignment. The plains were considered the great American desert. My husband was a hero. He wanted Washington. I married the man in 1864. We had 12 years together. I adored him. <laughs> 